हाय एवरीवन दिस इज सौम्य जिद साइड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन माय चैनल आज के वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं मेरे कंप्लीट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग करियर के बारे में स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एस डी वन देन गेटिंग प्रोमोटेड टू एस डी टू देन स्विचिंग ऑफ कंपनीज एंड देन फाइनली ट्रांजिशनिंग इन एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर हियर आई विल डिस्कस इन कंप्लीट डिटेल्स ऑल द मिस्टेक्स दैट आई मेड ऑल द प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट आई बिल्ड द स्किल्स दैट आई एक्वायर्ड एज वेल एज the learnings that i had in my entire career of 4.5 years that has helped me reach this point so if you are someone who is super excited to know these things as well as want to understand all those things that you can do to upskill yourself then definitely watch this video till the end it will be an exciting watch But before starting, I must say, like target इस video का 1.5,000 likes फाइव थाउजेंड लाइक्स है तो जाके सबसे पहले लाइक बटन को दबा के मारो सब्सक्राइब कर लो इस चैनल को एकदम फटाफट नोटिफिकेशन बिल को ऑन कर दो और शेयर कर दो इस वीडियो को अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ नाउ विदाउट फर्दर अ डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Before starting, I would like to introduce to a brand new course from Cryo. So Cryo has come up with a master's program for QA. So if you are someone who wants to pursue your career in QA automation testing field, then this program can be the perfect fit for you. After this course, you will get a placement guarantee. in around 5 to 20 lakhs per year package the entire course is extremely well structured interactive as well as comes with a 100% placement guarantee apart from this you can avail a 10% discount on this particular course by using my coupon code i'll give you the link in the description below go there and check out the course for yourself and you don't have to pay straight away you will get a one week free trial where you can go through the course the course material understand what all things you will learn and as you all know cryo is known for their project oriented course where you learn by doing real life industry great projects and this course is no different so go ahead and check the course link is in the description below as many of you might know i started my career at rcgm right out of college on campus placement tha rcgm ke bare mein agar nahi pata hai i have made a dedicated company review for that company in my you know tech company review playlist so go ahead and watch that company review all in all it is definitely a good company personally speaking mera work life balance kafi acha tha right from the beginning in rcgm but i do know many people in my team as well जिनका वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस उतना अच्छा नहीं था इट ऑल डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम यूनो टीम टू टीम एंड इंडिविजुअल टू इंडिविजुअल एंड हाउ इट डिपेंड्स आई हैव डिस्कस दिस वीडियो अ लिटिल लेटर तो थोड़ा सा इंतजार कर लो कि कैसे यू कैन मेक योर वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस मच बेटर इन अ पर्टिकुलर कंपनी एवरी वन नोज आर सी जी एम एज अ फिन टेक फर्म हमारा टीम जो था एट आर सी जी एम दैट मेनली केटर टू डे शो देर वेर यू नो टू थ्री प्रोडक्ट्स दैट माई टीम ओन एंड आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन इट ब्राइट इन माई फर्स्ट ईयर टू बी ऑनेस्ट मेरा वर्क उतना अच्छा नहीं था नाउ आर सी जी एम बिंग अ फिनटेक कंपनी और कई सारे फंड्स में डी ई शॉ इन्वेस्ट करती है और हमारी टीम वर्क वेरी क्लोजली विद डी ई शॉ राइट तो मेरा जो काम था इन माई फर्स्ट ईयर एटलीस्ट वॉज मेनली रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड ऑटोमेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मैनुअल रिपोर्ट्स दैट पर प्रेजेंट दैट डी शॉ जनरेटेड फॉर इट इन्वेस्टर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इट ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस्ड मी टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ राइटिंग टेस्ट केसेस क्योंकि हमारे टीम का टेस्ट कवरेज बहुत कम था और हम और हम लोग न्यू हायर्स थे न्यू ज्वाइन थे तो हम लोग टेस्ट केसेस लिखते थे अगर आपको नहीं पता है यूनिट टेस्टिंग इंटीग्रेशन टेस्टिंग किसे कहते हैं देन कॉमेंट डाउन बिलो आई माइट मेक अ स्मॉल यूट्यूब शॉर्ट ऑन इट एंड अपलोड इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इट रियली हेल्प मी अंडरस्टैंड द कोड बेस फ्रॉम इट्स कोर by writing test cases for different scenarios by writing test cases for different flows in the code base and i do encourage everyone to start writing test cases if they are new to a code base that they want to explore slowly and steadily i started earning trust of my seniors my managers who were present in the team and correspondingly they also gave me a lot more big as well as independent projects to completely own right from design to implementation to delivery definitely it helped me learn a lot 
about software engineering life cycle to be honest not only this they also empowered me to talk directly with our stakeholders be it in india or in us helped me understand that writing effective document is immensely important from a perspective of software engineering as well as communicating effectively is very important i must say that i have been lucky inside rcsm to get hold of good projects involving great technologies and was able to deliver them as well with the help of right guidance from right seniors present there um some of the projects that i did inside rcsm have truly helped me understand the intricacies of low level design understand what high level design is all about one of the projects that i remember is i built a complete two factor authentication system for one of the products in my team i tried to build the code in a very generic maintainable and extensible fashion as a result i created a separate library which rcsm and any team in rcsm can definitely use in order to help their application make phone calls and send sms here in this particular project i was involved right from the beginning from analyzing different instruments that i can use from talking with different vendors different companies that offer such solutions understanding the pros and cons building the design documents getting it reviewed implementing the code testing the code unit testing coordinating a worldwide integration testing of the entire call as well as sms facilities and then delivering it on time definitely i learned a great deal about software engineering per se as well as about project management to be honest and slowly and steadily i got promoted from an sd1 to an sd2 uh, from a promotion perspective right most of the companies do follow a certain set criteria and the criteria are uh, pretty straight forward if you yourself are functioning at the level of sd2 for quite some time then you typically get promoted generally they see that whether or not you are able to design things on your own whether or not you are able to code as well as deliver projects on your own of decent scale and ambiguity so as i went on to become as due to more and more ambiguous tasks were given to me which definitely taught me the basics of how to approach any unknown new problem one thing that i am truly grateful of to rcsm per se is that it gave me enough time to understand the breadth and the depth of problems to try out different solutions to experiment with different technologies per se and come up with solutions rcsm i would say never ever at least to me put any kind of pressure to deliver something without properly analyzing all the technologies that are present out there some other things that i learned from the managers in rcsm is a how to properly plan give out estimate prioritize things and work so that you can have amazing work life balance and this is something that i definitely talk with each and every one that i say most of the times that i have seen uh, is that whenever a part particular person says that they have bad work life balance more often than not it's the case where they give very aggressive estimates for the work that they are doing which is not possible to do in that time frame for example agar kisi kaam ko karne mein aapko 4 din lagenge aur agar aapne ye bola hai ki aap 2 din mein wo kaam karke doge to obviously baat hai aap wo kaam 2 din mein nahi kar sakte aur agar aapko karna padega to aapke work life balance bahut hi zyada kharab ho jayega and this is something that rcsm has taught me rcsm has taught me how to prioritize between different work and correspond dingly come up with a very good plan and these skills definitely has come in handy in my decision to move from software development engineer to an engineering manager jaise google ka auto suggestions nahi aata jaise you start typing something and correspondingly google searches its indexes and show you ki ye 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 sare cheeze search kar sakte to waisa hi ek cheez maine banaya tha inside rcsm for the product that i was owning and usme bhi mereko bahut exposure mila tha lucene karke ek java library hai 
उसके ऊपर मेरे को बहुत एक्सपोजर मिला था इलास्टिक सर्च के ऊपर एंड हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट दीज सिस्टम्स एंड बिल्ड अ प्रोडक्ट अ बिल्ड अ फीचर अराउंड इट बट आफ्टर अ सर्टन पॉइंट इन टाइम राइट आई स्टार्टेड टू फील दैट आई हैव एक्सप्लोर्ड वॉट इज देयर टू एक्सप्लोर एंड आर सी जी एम विल नॉट बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड मी विद द थिंग्स दैट आई वॉन्ट टू लर्न फॉर एग्जाम्पल अल्टीमेटली आर सी जी एम है फिनटेक फॉर्म राइट उसके करोड़ों यूजर्स तो है नहीं उसके चुनिंदा कुछ यूजर्स है राइट एंड करस्पॉन्डिंगली आप जो उधर बनाओगे या आप वट एवर वर्क यू आर डूइंग दैट इज नॉट जनरली गियर्ड टूवर्ड्स स्किल एंड एज अ रिजल्ट यू विल नॉट लर्न मच अबाउट हाउ टू डेवलप प्रोडक्ट्स दैट मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ यूजर्स कैन यूज सो एज अ रिजल्ट आई स्विच टू एमेजॉन वन पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स बैक एज एन एस डी टू इन एमेजॉन एज वेल आई लर्न क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट डेफिनेटली a lot about high level design and the expectation right from get go is exactly in line with how you will be interviewed as an sd2 dsa and all ye sab to hota hi rehta hai but iske sath sath jo aapke rounds hote hai low level design ke high level design ke you as an sd2 will be expected to deliver right from the first day with respect to low level design and high level design swimming aap seekhne jaate ho to kabhi kabhar instructor aisa pakad ke pani mein phek deta hai to waisa sa hisab ho gaya tha mera ekdam starting mein uh, when i joined uh, amazon and this and the first task was was uh, was to build an entire system design an entire system and then build it and to be honest us task it it was not a task it was a project or us pure project ko karke i learned quite a lot about many things with respect to developing system for scale i learned quite a lot the art of writing design documents i learned a lot from all the seniors all the reviews that i got from everywhere apart from this from a management perspective as well i learned quite a lot from all the leaders all the managers present here in amazon that i have interacted with one of the major things that i learned is how to trust anyone कम्प्लीटली मतलब अगर आपको अमेजोन में किसी ने कोई काम दे दिया किसी ने कोई काम या प्रोजेक्ट करने के लिए दे दिया देन यू विल बी ट्रस्टेड टू डिलीवर द प्रोजेक्ट इन टाइम विद रेस्पेक्ट टू ऑल ऑफ द प्लानिंग दैट यू हैव डन तो यहाँ पे आप खुद प्लान करोगे आप खुद बताओगे कि कितना टाइम आपको लगेगा करस्पॉन्डिंगली उस टास्क को आप ब्रेक डाउन करोगे एंड you will be responsible for the end to end delivery of the entire product and the level of trust that is shown by leaders to their employees is immense amazon as well as rcgm had helped me mentor a lot of employees be it new joiners be it intern and so on and so forth not only this rcgm mein rehte rehte maine youtube channel bhi khol liya tha and uske sath sath bhi i interacted with a lot of people and tried to help them as much as possible from all the skills that i acquired as well as all the mentoring that i had done maine ye socha ki potentially from a career perspective i would want to explore the engineering management part of the career as well जिससे कि मैंने अपने मैनेजर्स के साथ आई स्टार्टेड हैविंग दीज डिस्कशन एंड आई स्टार्टेड टेकिंग अप मोर एंड मोर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू स्टेक होल्डर मैनेजमेंट कम्युनिकेट करना एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस सो ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आई हैव लर्न इन माई करियर टिल नाउ बी इट कैसे एस्टिमेट करते हैं कैसे टास्क को प्रायोरिटाइज करते हैं कैसे प्रोजेक्ट प्लान करते हैं कैसे कम्युनिकेट करते हैं दूसरे लोगों के साथ कैसे कम्युनिकेट करते हैं बिजनेस के साथ प्रोडक्ट के साथ अलग अलग स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स दैट आई हैव लर्न कैसे मेंटर करते हैं करियर एडवाइसेस कैसे देते हैं विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू यूट्यूब एंड ऑल दीज रिसर्च दैट आई हैव डन ऑल ऑफ दीज दैट आई हैव लर्न रियली हेल्प मी to make this decision after one and a half years of working as an sd2 that i should transition into a software development manager also known as an engineering manager to dheere dheere i started taking up more and more responsibilities in my current team itself and slowly and steadily i started getting those exposure that is required for me to start the transitioning process and after some time i switched my team and now currently i am in amazon pay as an engineering manager where i am leading contributing and learning a very exciting chapter that is present a very exciting work that is present and definitely till now i am loving the things that i am doing amazon has given me 
the chance to make impact to millions and millions of users a product that you build is instantly being used by millions and millions of customers out there so all of these things jo abhi tak aapne suna right has really helped me understand what are these things that i really want to pursue in my career and has helped me make that decision to transition from an sd2 to an engineering manager and amazon has also given me those opportunities to be able to do so and that is something that i really like about the company that agar aapko koi cheez karni hai koi nayi opportunity dekhni hai koi naya role dekhna hai ya kisi alag domain mein kaam karna hai for that matter it will give you all the opportunity that you require to do the work i really hope that you like the video if you did then comment down below if you would want me to make more in depth videos around sdm versus sde kya differences hai kaun kaise kaam karta hai then i will definitely make a detailed video around that as well apart from that uh, do comment down below kaisa laga sunke ye complete journey different kinds of projects that i have made and definitely aap bhi ye sare projects aap bhi ye sare skills acquire kar sakte ho also comment down below any other videos that you would want me to make the like target of this video is 1.5000 likes so like कर दो शेयर इट अमॉन्ग योर फ्रेंड्स एंड पियर्स एंड सब्सक्राइब करो यार किसका इंतजार कर रहे हो दिस इज सोमिया जित बिटिंग गुड बाय दास वेदानिया